This is the 1 16th plywood short kit. So those are all the pieces for the frame. Here's the 1 16th balsa wood that I've pulled out of my supply of balsa wood to make all the balsa wood pieces to complete the kit. Here are the templates for the balsa wood pieces. So all these pieces are printed on the paper. They're one piece templates. These templates right here, I have to piece together like I did on this one. These are the templates for the stack, for the cowling. They are going to be made from quarter inch thick piece of balsa stacked up. To make the templates for the deck pieces and the hall bottom, they are too long to print on a piece of paper, so they have these lines where you join them. And what I'm doing is simply cutting out these diamond shapes on each piece. So I'll cut these diamond shapes out here and here, cut the pieces out, lay them over top of each other, and then I tape over the diamond cutouts, both sides so it sticks together. Do that keeping these lines aligned and then add a couple more pieces of tape get an oversized template, a template that's bigger than a sheet of paper. Also printed the directions quite a bit of steps in the directions to build the kit. And we also have a couple of three-dimensional drawings. Here is like a step-by-step -step how to assemble it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out, tape it together, and then I have to cut out all my other templates. Quite obviously, this is an advanced builder's kit, making up all your pieces, balsa wood pieces from templates. Nice thing is all the plywood pieces for building the frame straight and square. It's all laser cut out. Making the balsa kit. These pieces are done. These templates are cut out. Still gotta cut these templates out. So it has the name of the part and how many to make. Also the arrows give the direction of the grain of the balsa. And when you're printing these sheets you size your printer so this comes out to be six inches and the parts will be the right size. Every sheet has a scale on it. I have the balsa wood kit completed. These are cut out from 1 16th balsa wood in the correct quantities and keeping the grain direction right. They have to go around curves on the deck. So the grain direction is important. These are four pieces of 164th birch plywood. Laminate two together to make two pieces of plywood sponson and bottoms, 30 second thick. I haven't cut the pieces out to make the cow stack because I need to frame it first and sheet it. And then this hatch has to match the curb on the top deck and then build the balsa stack to make the cowling. I have the 1 20th scale 
Atlas Van Lines Unlimited Hydroplane, mostly framed. Beautiful little structure. Pretty straightforward construction. I didn't video it. The only changes I've made to it, I've added plywood um, backers right here for the aft non-trip. Give that some support. Not just have a glue joint holding that. The other thing I did was not per the instructions, I did the forward non-trips first. And what that does is I sanded them down and then I laid the sponson bottoms over it and beveled the sponson bottoms. So I have a plywood corner here instead of balsa. If you'd have laid it over top, that would have been a soft balsa corner. The other change I'm doing is I'm putting these 30 second ply um, chine formers in here. Two layers of 64th ply laminated. So I've inlaid them into the formers. First I sanded my forward non-trips. Got a nice line following these laser cut formers. Then I scribed the line with my pencil, 32nd of an inch down. And then I am cutting out, marked in a quarter inch. And I am cutting out the formers. And then I will sand the balsa to this line. That's what I've done on this side. So by measuring in exactly a quarter inch, I made these laminations three eighths of an inch, They're a little bit oversized. So I'm letting it run a little wild. And I'll sand that down maybe after I sheet it. And so I got these laying nice and flush following the shape of the laser cut formers. And by scribing that line, I've maintained that nice profile down through there of the forward non-trip surface. Just want that plywood in there. It had a balsa corner with a balsa non-trip and a balsa deck. Give that a little bit of toughness to it. I've left it wild, now I just have to sand it down. And then I'll have a nice quarter inch wide plywood chine former built into the sponsons.
that's as close as I'm gonna go with scissors and a knife. Sand it the rest away. See how it ends up nice and even, quarter inch wide strip, because I measured in and made my relief cuts, then left it wild. And I think I gotta start figuring on motor mount and servo mount and then um, waterproofing sealing the uh, wood it's coming along <laughs>